This is a 2003 Chevrolet Suburban. Uh, this video is going to cover this generation was made from 2000 until 2006. Uh, also sold in 2007 as the classic uh, 2007 and a half is when they brought out the next generation GMT 900. This is the GMT 800. And the Z71 had some uh, unique options. Uh, those were the front bumper is different, uh, especially the lower part of it. You got the round fog lights and uh, the round the bottom part flexes quite a bit so you can you know if you're going over some bushes or something it'll uh, give you a little more clearance and flex up um, I replaced the fog lights with uh, LED uh, they're much brighter and then they, they kind of have that smoked look same with the headlights. They're cheap uh, to replace on Amazon, eBay. All right, Z71, you also got skid plates. So you can get this to show up. Here's your front skid plate. Uh, that one's, I think it's aluminum. And then you have your, just a plastic, like brush guard. Uh, you did get Bilstein shocks originally. Uh, this has 170,000 miles, so those were worn out. I replaced them with KYB Monomax, which are a little bit stiffer than the Bilsteins. And uh, put new sway bar links in. All right, Z71, you got different side steps. These are the tubular side steps. They're also aluminum. And then you have this plastic molding along the bottom. Uh, these are aftermarket, uh, well, they're genuine GM wheels, but they're from a, probably a 2010, 2011 Sierra. It's a 17 inch wheel, uh, bolt pattern is the same. Uh, let's see the it's pretty much a 33 inch tire. I think it's like 32.7 to be exact um, 285 70 r17 uh, Suburbans and Tahoe's came four-wheel disc standard where most of the trucks had drums in the back Another unique feature about the Z71, you have your roller here on top to load your canoe. Um, the roof rack is a little bit differently designed than a standard Suburban. But that rotates. Uh, barn doors were offered initially. You could get uh, two doors that hinge at the tail lights and open on each side. But eventually this replaced, uh, the hatchback replaced those. Uh, you can pop the glass. Just press that button. Glass opens up. And with the third row up, you still have quite a bit of room in a Suburban where in a Tahoe, the third row is pretty much right at the hatch. You can easily fold up the third row. You just hit number one here. Oh, yeah. You gotta hit one and fold the seat. All right, just pushes down. And then number two. up all right now with the third row up even more room you can remove the third row it's kind of heavy it's about probably at least 60 pounds 
Um, the Suburban third row is a full bench. There's no divider. Let's see if we can do this. Yeah, so a Tahoe third row, it's divided and you can right in the middle and you can fold down each side. But Suburban, it's a full bench. I think they're interchangeable if you wanted to switch that out. I did add um, a larger subwoofer. So this Suburban is pretty loaded. It has the Bose sound system, which is, let's see, two front speakers, two door speakers in the rear. You have these speakers in the pillars, so that's six. You have some tweeters up front in the A pillar by the windshield. So that's eight. And then the factory subwoofer is under the center console. So I think they call it a nine speaker system because they're counting all the separate speakers, even though some are just tweeters. All right. Uh, This has a 5.3 in it. You could only get the 6.0 in the 2500 or if you got the Denali or Escalade. 